In this video, we're going to go over another unique aspect to sculpting in 3D Coat. I'm using a 3D connection device that allows me to sculpt while I navigate about the model. On the surface, it may not sound like such a big deal, but once you start using one, especially the higher end models, you quickly realize just how indispensable this feature actually is. In this example, I'm going to use the muscle tool and this hair cap, and let's say I want to refine it with a much smaller strand. I'm using a 3D connection device to just gradually move about the model as I need. In some other popular sculpting and texture painting applications, you do not have 3D connection support. You have to stop, use hotkeys, navigate, then resume, stop, navigate, resume, all over again, hundreds if not thousands of times per day. Just as an example, I'm using my stylus now to have to navigate. I'm stopping, having to use my stylus to navigate, then resume. Have to move again, stop. And all that lost time really adds up, as does the wear on your wrist because of the additional repetitive motion. I'm going to go back to using a 3D connection device. And I never really have to stop. So even while I'm sculpting, I can zoom in. Now let me go to the base model here. And I'll switch to a different brush. Let's select a clay brush. Maybe I want to build the neck out just a bit. Let's use a square brush alpha and also reduce the depth down quite a bit. So I can see how it looks from different vantage points while I'm sculpting. As a side note, whenever you see the fast forward icon in the lower left hand corner, that indicates that I've sped up the playback. Okay, so I'll switch to a smooth brush. The 3D connection device support is equally helpful when painting your model. So in summary, what this support allows you to do is to continue working regardless of whether you're sculpting, texture painting, retopologizing. You can continue to work without ever having to worry about navigating because your muscle memory just takes over and you're just moving about the viewport without even having to think about it. Another major benefit if you have a higher end model is that you can store all your most frequently used hotkey assignments to the buttons on the device, including different views, different command keys, such as Alt, Control, Shift, Spacebar, Enter, Delete, and things of that sort. You can also assign radial or pi menus to each button, therefore multiplying the number of keys that you can access. And my personal favorite is the fact that I don't have to stop what I'm doing, look down at the keyboard, and I don't have to use two hands to access certain keyboard combinations. I can access them with one button on the device without even having to look down. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.